Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have a super fun and bright card to share with you today. Using the brand new Christmas quilt bundle. We've got a stamp set and quilt builder framelits. This has been so much fun. I'm a little late to the party on this one, but I was busy with Halloween and fall stuff. So I am just getting started on my Christmas ideas. And um, while this is a Christmas quilt set, I made a birthday card with it. I love this. And this has, I don't know if you can see, this has some embossing on it. And I'll show you that in just a second, how, how I accomplished that. And I'm super excited because I have 21 cards that I'm going to show you at the end of the video using the Christmas quilt and the Merry Little Label stamp set. So make sure you hang around for that tour. Okay, let's get started and I'll show you some great tips on how to make this cute card. All right, first of all, I'm gonna come in here with my cardstock layers. I've got a Whisper White envelope. I've got Lemon Lime Twist that is four and a quarter by 11 inches. I've already scored it at five and a half and burnished it with my bone folder. I've got two Whisper White layers that are four by five and a quarter each and then a scrap of Berry Burst. We're gonna do our stamping and embossing first for our little label. And again, I've got this just for you that comes from the Merry Little Labels stamp set. And this matches the Everyday Label Punch. So you can get this as a bundle and save 10% when you buy the stamp set and the punch together. I've got my Versamark ink here and I'm just going to ink that up and stamp it on my Berry Burst layer. And I've just got a piece of typing weight paper here that I'm going to use to catch my Whisper White embossing powder. I'm going to sprinkle that on there liberally and just tap it off like that. This allows me to put this back into my container without any fuss. I'm coming in with the heat tool. Stampin' Up's heat tool is excellent quality. It's got two different temperatures on it. There is a medium and a high. And as far as embossing goes, people do this and they do this and they do that. Just hold it still. You don't need to do any of that. I always watch people do that and I kind of giggle because I don't, I don't understand what they're doing there. <laughs> it's one of those things that makes me scratch my head a little bit. But as soon as you see the embossing powder start to turn shiny you just move your heat gun up and it's done and you just tilt it in the light and when it's all shiny you're ready to rock and roll okay I'm gonna bring this punch in and we are going to line that up it's much easier to stamp first and then line it up with your punch than it is to punch out this image and then try to stamp on there. That's just, that's not for me, I'll tell you that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some rhinestones to this because I thought the top and the bottom of this little label was the perfect place to put these. Don't you like it? Love it. And I've got two dimensionals left on this sheet. Make sure you're not throwing the edges away because you can cut those up and use them. I've got a whole drawer full here where I use all those edges too. I'm gonna set this aside because this is ready to go when we get a little further on our card. So I'm gonna take one of my Whisper White layers and this Christmas quilt bundle has a whole bunch of different Framelits, thinlets in it. Lots of great things here. This one is really fun, and I'll show you a bunch of examples using this one in a few minutes. But for right now, we are going to... I've got this in a separate one because this is one of the cards we're making at my card buffet on Saturday. So this embosses only. It's not going to cut out. And I decided to put that about right over here on my card layer. 
I'm going to run this through the Big Shot just like you would any one of your framelits or thinlets, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And you can see here that this has cut those little dash or stitch lines into my layer. Isn't that pretty? And this is what we're gonna use as our template to stamp on. So this is a really cool element. I really like that. Next, I'm going to come in with Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Ink. And I'm gonna use these two stamps right here. One is polka dots and one is stripes. So we're gonna ink that up and then you're gonna to need to get right over top and look down right over top of your stamp so you can see where this is gonna line up. And that goes right over top the stitch lines you just did. Now I'm gonna do one more here in Lemon Lime Twist and we're gonna skip a set and stamp just like that. Isn't that pretty? I love the way this turns out. And now we're coming in with the Berry Burst. Excellent, and one more time. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, then we've got this little flower image in here and I'm just going to stamp this a couple times to fill in some of my white space. Okay, we're going to adhere this to our card front because we're ready to rock with it. I just love these two colors together and I think, I can't decide if Berry Burst is my favorite new color or if it's Lemon Lime. Either one really, I love both of them. Next, I'm gonna come in here with our crinkled 5 8 inch seam binding, and I am going to tie a bow right over on the right-hand side of my card. Now, it's always easier to tie a bow when you have somebody that can stick their finger in there, but unfortunately, I am here alone. There we go. Oh, I did pretty good, huh? Oh, that's a professional for you. <laughs> I like to say that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it makes me feel good. It's like, well, I am a professional. <laughs> just a funny little joke for me. And we're going to trim this. And I'm going to trim this one. There we go. That's beautiful. And next we're going to come in here. And we're going to stick our fingernail in the middle of those dimensionals to help lift those edges up. And we're going to add this to our card front right here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We have to do the inside. Make sure you hang in there for that 21 card tour. You're going to love it. I was so excited. I've got all these swap cards that I've gotten and some cards that I've made too, but I'm like... Hey, I can show everybody samples that I got with these. Okay, so where's my happy birthday coming from? That is coming from this watercolor word stamp set. I use this a lot on the front of my cards and the inside because I love the font and they're kind of big stamps. So this is a really cool set to have. And then we've got this little stitched flower that I thought would add some charm. And I'm just gonna stamp a couple of those in here and then come back in with that little flower that I stamped on the front and put that right in the middle. Isn't that cute? And as long as we're doing things like this, let's get our envelope stamped too. And I'll just put maybe three of these flowers on there. And I am going to clean off my little green flower here on my stamp and scrub and I'm gonna put some Berry Burst in the middle here because, well, because I can. Yay! Better make sure I clean this because if I go to do anything else, I don't wanna get Berry Burst in my Lemon Lime Twist for Pete's sakes. And here is the inside of our card. This whips up so quickly. Get the ink out of the way because you guys know what I do with that. I'll throw my card in it. And 
then you might hear some bad words. <laughs> and there we go. Quilted Christmas for a birthday card. Fun, bright colors. Love, love this stamp set and matching thinlets. So let's take a little tour. The Quilted Christmas suite is shown on page four and five of the holiday mini catalog. And as you can see here, we've got the stamp set, we've got the quilt builder framelit dies, we've also got these stitched felt embellishments that I can actually show you because I have them. These are really cute. They're flat, they don't weigh anything, so they're not gonna add any extra weight to our cards. You get some red stars, some green Christmas trees, and then some little holly leaves. So these are super, super cute. Great for scrapbooking, too. And then here is what's left of my Quilted Christmas 6x6 paper stack. I've been using this a lot. But there's great patterns in here that go along with the whole quilt theme, too. And there's more patterns, but I've used a lot of them. What else do we have in this suite? We have this beautiful ribbon. You can also get the quilted embossing folder, which I have right here. This is gorgeous. I don't know if you can really see that in the video, but this is beautiful. And then check this out. This is designer paper, and you can die cut this with this die cut right here. It perfectly matches and die cuts right out of the designer series paper. All right, so are you ready for the tour? I'm gonna bring in the quilted Christmas cards first here. All right, so here we have the felt embellishments. That's super cute, and the designer series paper. This is a great little card. Here's that embossing folder used, and again, the quilted. These are all made with the quilted Christmas stamp set. Some of them have incorporated that Merry Little Labels into the Christmas quilt. Love this little tree. I think this is like one of my favorite ones. Isn't this beautiful? This uses the Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper. And what they did here is they cut the image out and then it leaves all these pieces that are in here and then they put them back inside here like a puzzle. So that's super fun. Another one, that here's that pretty ribbon, that green and red ribbon that's on, in that suite. And here they did what we did on our card base where we dye or embossed the image in there and they just used that white with the flower in the middle. I really like that idea, that's cool. Here's a bunch of little Christmas trees stacked up using the framelit and they stamped that flower in the background. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, this is very unique. They cut out this big star shape here out of the front of their card and then that white part that we cut and embossed, they just put that underneath of it with some designer series paper. That is very genius. Here's another cute one using the designer series paper and the greeting. Here's one where they put the puzzle pieces back in. And then last but not least, I wanted to show both of these to you. My friend Carolee Crabb sent these. If you know Carolee, you know she is a very generous giver. And she sent me both of these cards in a swap. She sent me a little note along with them saying, this one is just with that image cut out of my card front and designer series paper in the background. This one is with the image cut out of the card front and then putting the pieces all back in there. So. Both of these are great ways to use that particular thinlet and super creative. All right, I have more cards using the Merry Little Labels stamp set and that Everyday Label Punch to share with you. Okay, so here's some really neat cards. Isn't that fun? And they masked off the snowflakes and the let it snow here and put a happy birthday 
stamped in there. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. And then we've got this one, which is also a very cool card. And this one uses the quilt embossing folder in the background and the Knight of Navy crinkled ribbon. Here's one, it's so pristine with the let it snow. Love that. Here's another one, very pretty. This is watercolor paper and they kind of watercolored it just a little bit. Here they just used the label punch and stamped a house on it, so that's kind of neat. And we've got one here, I really like the red and the black. So really neat looking cards. I hope you enjoyed that tour. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. If you need any of these supplies, feel free to hop on over to my blog. You can order them directly from me. I'll have links for everything I used here to make this card on my blog. Also, if you need the new catalogs, don't hesitate to ask me. I would be happy to send them to you. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above .com. Click down here in the corner so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything coming up. I am going to be starting a series for my Wednesday videos that is repurposing things around your house. Make sure you subscribe down here. Thanks a lot for joining me. I know that everybody's time is precious and I'm glad you spent a little time with me. Have yourself a great weekend. Bye-bye.